everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello my name is Rebecca and I hope you're having a great fantastic day now in today's video if you haven't seen my previous video I did review the Makeup Revolution 25 day advent calendar and in this video I'm going to be trying on all the makeup products from this calendar so it'd be really fun because there's pretty much something of well, there's pretty much everything for a full face inside this calendar, which I'm so excited. So I'm going to be chucking every single product on my face and let you guys know my thoughts about them. So if you guys could enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell so you get notified by every single makeup video I do here on this channel. Don't forget to follow on Instagram if you want to. Link is in the description bar below. So if you guys want to know my thoughts on the Makeup Revolution makeup products inside the 25 day advent calendar, just keep watching. Alright guys, let's try on the products from the Makeup Revolution Advent Calendar. I've done this uh, eyeshadow look where I've basically got browns and the pinks infused together. I don't know, I just think it looks kind of cool to be honest. Now, I know I do my eyebrows first, but because I've already got a brow tint on, I don't really need to fill it in too much to be honest, so I don't mind doing the brows afterwards. So, because we've got a lot of makeup going on, I'm just going to show you guys how I created this eye look. Okay guys, so this is the completed eye look. Well, I need to add an inner corner and brow bone highlighter, but I'll do the brows and then we'll do that. But uh, yeah, so this is the eye look I have created. I kind of like it, I think it's a bit different. You've got a bit of brown tones and a bit of pink in there, so a bit of the infused together. So it's kind of cool. So the eyeshadow palette is really nice. It's pigmented, it blends really nicely. It's a very, very nice palette. This color works better with a finger than it does a brush. I use a brush just for precision, but it is a really really nice palette and i really really like it i think it's really pigmented it's an excellent palette loads of fallout mind you as you can see by the two pans here the two brown tones there's a lot of eyeshadow fallout there is a lot of powder pff, everywhere so it is very very powdery but once you tap off the brush it's absolutely fine but you will get a lot of fallout so please do your eyes first when you use this eyeshadow palette but it's really nice i really like it and yes i'll probably take I'll probably take this colour and use it as a brow bone and in the corner highlighter in just a sec. But, yeah, nonetheless, a very good palette. And the cold pencil, a decent little cold pencil. Nothing much to say, really. It done the job. Do I think it might last a long time? Probably not. If you set it with a black eyeshadow, it will probably last longer. It'll probably make a nice black eyeshadow base, you know, to do a smoky eye. It might be really nice for that. But, yeah, it's a decent cold pencil. It done the job. So yeah, I think the cold pencil's pretty good. Right, uh, let's do these brows. I don't have to do too much, like I said, because I have got a brow tint, but uh, I do have a brow pencil right here. So this is the brow pencil, and this is in the shade medium brown. I wish they had a spoolie on the other end. That's all I would say. You probably could use this as a cold pencil or a lip liner, to be 100% honest. I think this is quite multifunctional, but uh, I'm going to use it for brows today. So I'm just going to just use a brush and just kind of brush them in place a little bit where I want them to go. Oh, well, I guess I'll start filling my brows in a little bit. Okay, so this is what I got going on at the moment. Uh, it's a good little brow pencil. It does the job. Like I said, it, you probably could use it as a lip liner. You probably could use it as a cold pencil if you wanted to. But uh, 
but no um actually with the eye pencil i'm not sure if it's eye safe or not so i wouldn't probably recommend it don't go with my instinct but i know some people have used their eyebrow pencils as lip liners i know they've definitely used it for that so you probably could use it for that to be 100 percent honest but yeah it's a diff decent pencil it done the job it just filled up a little bit of my brows and just added a bit of structure so yeah i i like it i think it's i think it's really good okay so i'm just going to use the brow gel now i love this thing oh my gosh it's so tiny look can you see on the bridge of my nose how small it is it's so small so i'm just going to use it to set the brows in place i remember loving this brow gel so it's a decent little gel so i'm just just going to use it just to set it all in place Right, well, i'm just adding my inner corner highlighter and brow bone like i said i'm just going to take that golden color right there but it's a decent brow gel i really really love that brow gel Ooh, that is blinding okay now let's prime the face let's use the primer it's the revolution dewy primer so it's just in a pink squeezy tube right so let's see how this feels on the face this is going to be oh it's got a little seal on there i'm just going to take it off so is this going to be hydrating? Is it going to be tacky? Oh, it's coming out. Kind of looks a bit like that. It's like a thick white consistency. It has a slight smell of coconut in it. So uh, let's prime this to the face. It's quite thick. And as I'm squeezing, I don't feel like you can get, you're getting a lot out of here. <laughs> Think am I squeezed a bit too much? Blend this in and see how it feels. Sometimes I have a habit of not applying to enough primer to be honest if you guys can see it is a dewy primer and it definitely feels tacky it has a slight coconut smell very slightly it's dewy but it's not the dewiest primer i've used it's not like their uh, glass primer i used recently that's very 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 dewy but uh yeah it's all right like i said it it's done the job it feels tacky it feels good I'd definitely say it feels a lot more of the tacky side, really, than hydrating. But it feels good. It does feel good. Okay, so I'm going to chuck my foundation and concealer on, and then we will apply some powder. Okay, before I powder, I just realised... We've got some cream blushes. So I've got a few of these ones here. So I've got the blush, uh, the, the Super Dewy Liquid Blush in You Got Me Blushing. And then I've got the flushing for you, but I've already got the flushing for you here. This is the one I purchased individually. So I think I'm gonna use this one and I think I'll crack into my new one another time because I know I already love this. This is just such a beautiful blush. And I used the little beauty sponge actually. I expand it with water and it's actually not that bad. It's actually really good for under the eyes and it actually does work on the face. So I quite like it actually. It's quite a versatile sponge because you can basically use it for face and pretty much everywhere because of the size. So, it looks a bit scary, but trust me, it is such a good blush. It's so good. So, let's start blending this out. Right, I had to add a little bit more liquid blush, but it's so pretty because once you set it with powder, it completely disappears. So, it kind of tones it down a little bit, but... I love it. I absolutely love their liquid blushes. I think they're really good. So I do recommend them. I think they're really, really good. Nearly couldn't speak then. Yeah. <laughs> right. Let's set my face with powder. So this is the Revolution Translucent Baking Powder. It's in an absolute adorable little size. I think I tried their banana powder like, oh my gosh, like years and years ago. Pop some in the lid and we can use this oh i'm excited to use this right i'll make sure it's not creasing right oh bless the lid's so small i'm trying to get in there Woohoo! we are we are baking today we are baking today in fact i could have used this brush to use the concealer couldn't i but uh never mind I might use the brush actually and see which side is better. So I'm just going to blend this one out too. And then we will bake. 
we are going to town. I will let it sit for a few minutes. I'm just gonna now set the rest of my face with this powder puff. I'm gonna set my face. The problem is the lid's so small, it's hard to get in there. <laughs> hmm. The powder is really nice, like under my eyes, it has really smoothened out everything. I think it's really good. I'll pop, I'll pop an image on screen of a picture I took on flash, but you can see that there's no flashback, which is amazing. There's no flashback. Absolutely love this. We'll be using this a lot, lot more. The only thing is, because this is so tiny, it's very hard to kind of fit all of this in. It can fit the tip bit, but the base, no. And press powder, this would work so much better on, but, because it's tiny it's hard to kind of scoop it and dig it out if that makes sense so i really love the powder but yeah it's just it's just very small for a brush it work all right but just a sponge is very hard to get in there but i will be using that more and i'll definitely be using this more as well so really 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 good uh i've already spoken about the cream blush you guys know i love that so let's apply a little bit of bronze or slash contour as they say the rev this is the revolution um contour powder in warm so this is what it looks like and it is in a very warm shade i'm gonna take this sparingly on an angled brush i don't know why but the packaging is giving me max factor vibes you know like the blushes i put on screen it's giving me max factor vibes i don't know why with the packaging it just is so dip it in there's me saying sparingly and i've dipped in it three times so I'm just going to start warming up the face with that. Let's use it on hip. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> uh, oops. Very pigmented. Yikes. Okay. That bronze is really nice. The only thing I'd say about it is you can't really win. You add a tiny bit, it shows nothing. You add a tiny bit more, you get a massive blob of colour which luckily thank goodness it did blend out because it was a massive like whoa when i added a bit more so yeah you can't really win you either get hardly no pigment or a massive pigment blob with this you have to really blend it because it does stick in some parts of your face so once you really blend it out it's absolutely fine really nice on my skin but like i said unfortunately deeper skin won't be able to wear this apart from an eyeshadow but it is really nice it has warmed up my skin it is a nice bronzer you just it's just you either have to add a little or really get a big blob of it but you just have to blend it out a little bit more than usual that's all i would say but uh, it's not a terrible bronzer right let's go in with the highlighter now so this is the highlighter in just my type so this is the color right here it's kind of like a champagne -y color so i'm just going to use the angled bit of the bronzer brush <laughs> Hmm, do I need to say anything apart from blinding? <laughs> Revolution highlighters never, ever disappoint. Right, last but not least, the lips. Now, I have a bit to choose from when it comes to lips. I have all of this. So I have two glosses here. I have a shimmering one here, a brown gloss here, which is gorgeous. I then got these two glosses, a pale one and a pinky one, and I have three lip liners. So I guess I'll pick one of the lip liners here. So these are the three lip liners, queen like pink, which is this one here. And this mirror one is white wedding and chauffeur nude, which is this one. And those are the colors swatched at the back. So those are the colors I said, um a minute ago with the lip liners so that's that's the very first one that's the middle one and then that's the end one so i think that's the sh that's the chauffeur one that's the white wedding one and then that one is um queen light pink the only difference is that uh white wedding and chauffeur nude chauffeur nude's got me a more of a say a bit more of a brown tone in it whereas this one's a bit more pinky and then that one's a very very light pink um with this eyes what should i go for right i've decided i'm going to go with chauffeur nude and then the gloss i'm going to use evolve on top
Okay, this is a beautiful combination. They both are gorgeous together. Um, if I had more like neutral eyes going on, this would look really, really nice. But I think it's just a bit too much pink. So I think I'm going to take this off. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of caramel instead. Right, I've added some setting spray while I was off camera as well. So looking in a different light, it looks a bit more brown, but I think it's more like a it's more like a pinky toned brown. So it's got pink and a bit of brown in it. So I'm only going to add this a little bit sparingly. It's a shame these lip glosses don't have any smell. The oil has a really nice smell to it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that oil smells really, really good. It's called the Love Lip Oil. So it probably might have like a pH thing to do with this probably. So let's just add a tiny drop of this to the lips. Oh, this smells kind of like sweet. The thing I love about Squeezy Tube lip glosses as well is you can apply this on top of anything and it won't get spoiled basically. Because you know with these ones with like lip gloss applicators like this, they always tend to get messy and grubby and horrible and they tend to have all these different colours merged inside the tube because you're applying it on different different lipsticks and stuff like that. Where squeezy tubes are so easy, you can just wipe it off and you're absolutely fine. I've got to say, this is much better. Yeah, the undertone is, is perfect. This is just the perfect colour with the eyes. Feels comfortable and it's very, very nice. Really, really lovely gloss. So that is it guys. This is the completed look with the Makeup Revolution Advent Calendar. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video today. If you have, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell so you get notified by every single makeup video I do here on this channel. Don't forget to follow on Instagram if you want to. Link is in the description bar below. Thank you guys so much for watching. You have a great day. Stay safe. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.